Hey guys, it's Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. Bless the Lord, I'm so glad you're here. Let's get right into the Word. We've been talking about putting on Christ. We've talked about this man with his little son walking around the rodeo arena. The son looks like dad, acts like dad, walks like dad, talks like dad, wants to be dad, right? That's the way we need to be with God the Father. We need to want to be like daddy. And how do we do that? By looking to Jesus and seeing how Jesus operated in this world because Jesus is the expressed image of God the Father. He told uh, Thomas, if you've seen me, you've seen my Father. So let's look to him. Well, um, today I want to take it right into your house. I want to open the door of your house. I want to step in there. Listen to this. Um, it talks about relationships of families, and it starts like this. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is head of the wife, as also Christ is head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Now, some women get upset about this thing being subject to your husbands. I'm going to come back to this. We'll talk about it probably tomorrow. But um, let's move on to the husband and, and then I'm going to deal with that part about the wife, okay? So it goes to the husband and it says this, Husbands, love your wife, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. All right. Notice it says, even as Christ, um, it says, e just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. Notice it's Christ. It doesn't say as Jesus. We, we need to be aware of this because even though... <clears throat> We talked about this. Jesus is 100% man, but he's also 100% God. And he was anointed by God with the Holy Ghost and power. Remember, we talked about this a couple days ago. He was anointed with burden-removing, yoke-destroying power of God. He was, he, he's the Christ. He says, uh, uh, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, set at liberty those who are in captivity, heal the broken heart, and all those things. That's the anointing. There's a power that comes with the anointing. So when we see this say that just as Christ loved the church and gave himself, yes, it was Jesus that was on the cross. It was a, he, he was 100% man and 100% God. But understand also that power was with him. Uh, the, he was anointed. The, the, the power that comes with the anointing, the burden-removing, yoke-destroying power of God was on him. He even said uh, to, Herod, uh, um, um, to Caesar, he said, I can call down 10,000 angels and take me off this cross. He could do that, but he didn't. He had the authority to do it, but he didn't. Why? Because the Christ in him, not just Jesus, the man Jesus, uh, but the Christ, the anointed one, knew that it was necessary that he die on a cross and his blood shed for the sins of, of the world. So he did that. So dig this. You take power, the power of God, and nail it to a tree. And guess what? The man Jesus knew he had to be there, and he stayed there. That's amazing. What a display of power, not only... Um, uh, in, in spiritual terms, but now let's go in your house. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church. In other words, yes, you're, you're the, the spiritual leader of this household, but you need to be the one that's willing to die to who you are so that your wife can live a, an abundant, wonderful life. It's exactly what Jesus did, right? Notice what else it says about how he treated her. And it goes, says, verse 26, that he might sanctify her, Cleanse her with the washing of the water of the word. Notice he didn't say, hey, go off and get yourself cleaned up and make yourself right for me. And then maybe I'll take you back. No, it says that he sanctified her and he washed her with the water of the word. He spoke things over her that didn't even exist. In fact, he talks about the, the, the church being a church without spot or without wrinkle. Right? He speaks those things over us even when it doesn't exist. Why? Because there's power in the tongue. We've talked about that too. Um, uh, and he speaks that and he washes her with the water and he presents her to himself. That's how husbands need to 
deal with their wives. You and I need to speak the word of God over them. We need to, we need to sanctify her, set her apart because she's that special to us. We're going to pick this up tomorrow. Don't go away. Make sure you come back. We love you. Jesus loves you. We pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.